I've been doing some varmint hunting for the past month at a farmer's house who's been overrun with um, raccoons and skunks and armadillos and possums getting into his garden and also under his house. I've been using my Ruger uh, 1022 with more or less nominal results using subsonic ammo. Um, I don't even want to talk about the amount of varmints I've been shooting because PETA would definitely be coming after me. But uh, anyways, um, it just hadn't been positive, so I wanted to try to find something a little bit bigger. And lo and behold, I got online and found this high point uh, 9mm carbine on sale for uh, two and a quarter. Um, I know you can buy these guns brand new for about 250 but as you can tell, it's got this um, ATI stock and also a red dot scope on there. So I went ahead and made the purchase on there. Before doing so, I went on to uh, gunblast.com, and I really like uh, what Jeff Quinn does because I wanted to make sure that this gun had the accuracy that I needed. And as you can tell, right here, this thing has really good um, groups. And he is shooting at 50 yards, as you can tell right here, and this is what I'm going to be using. So, you know, since I'm using hollow point versus uh, whatever he's got here, full metal jacket it looks like, it'll definitely be able to kill uh, the varmints that I shoot. At night, I'm usually shooting right at about 30 yards on varmints, so this definitely has the accuracy that I need. Um, and I went ahead and made the purchase there. I want to show you a little bit of the ammo comparison. As you can tell, at 50 yards and or less, uh, this has 79 foot of pounds of energy, um, which I guess is okay for varmints, but if you look at here, 327 is definitely going to lay the law down on those things. I want to show the bullets a little bit so you can see um, what they look like, and the diameter of the 9mm is definitely more uh, pronounced. Uh, this is my first uh, 9mm that I've ever owned, and so I'm excited to get this thing on some paper and see how it does. I'm going to show you the rifle now. Here is the rifle, and as you can tell, I've already made some adjustments. I already swapped out the uh, his red dot scope with mine, and I'll show you why in a minute. And I went ahead and added a sling for all you safety freaks. Um, there's nothing in the chamber. It's locked up. It is on safety. Um, nothing in the clip, so we're good to go. Um, but here's the rifle itself. Um, I really like the way it feels, it handles. It's uh, really weighted right in the center, I guess, with all of the uh, stuff right here in the middle. He did a really good job at adding this ATI stock um, on here. He says he's done a couple of these, and I take his word for it because he did a really good job. Uh, this part here is actually what I like the most. Uh, most of these you'll see in a silver or brass or goldish color right here. Um, he went ahead and painted his this um, beige brownish texture um, all the way through and I originally thought that it was just tape but it is a paint job and he did a great job on that um, so that's the rifle in and of itself I want to show you now why I decided to use the scope that I'm using this is a BSA tactical stealth scope that you could find at most of your stores and the main reason that I like this is it has a Picatinny rail which I can add my uh, Marauder which by the way is an uber bright flashlight um, at night for varmints and I mount that onto here and on the other side for my video hunting needs I will put this monocular that I can record through onto that Picatinny rail but the main reason that I like this scope the most is because of this one feature it has this rear aperture that opens and closes like this I have never been able to shoot a red dot scope accurately until I got this one I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on the brightest level here. And what you can do is narrow down the aperture like so and really stay on your target. So I'll take a couple of pictures with uh, all the lights and uh, uh, monocular, night vision monocular on here. And I'll get this thing on paper and see how it does.